One admissions issue that's become a real Wild West situation over the last few years is standardized testing. What started as a wave of test-optional policies during COVID has turned into a confusing mix of requirements that seem to change with every admission cycle. While some schools, particularly Ivy League and highly selective institutions, are bringing back mandatory SAT and ACT scores, over 80% of four-year colleges still don't require them or won't consider them if submitted. So, should your students submit test scores? The short answer, like most critical issues in life is, it depends. For some students, strong test scores can be a useful addition to their profile, showing academic readiness that might not come across in grades alone. For others, especially those whose scores fall below the mid-50% range at a particular college, going test optional might be a smarter move. Understanding your child's unique situation, including where they fall in their high school's testing landscape, is key. Generally speaking, the data shows that students who submit high test scores instead of choosing not to submit have higher levels of admission success. But the key is, your scores must be exceptional. Because of the test optional policies, colleges' average test scores are rising since only high scorers are reporting. So, for the top 10 to 15 colleges, a great score that should be submitted on the SAT is something in the 1550 plus range and a 35 plus on the ACT. Again though, this advice largely depends on your specific student's profile and circumstances. And it must be part of a larger offensive approach that focuses not just on GPA and test scores, but also on specific initiatives around your passions. Should you have any questions, don't hesitate to make an appointment. I'm Alex, thanking you for listening to this educational video produced by Coralie Schultz.